director's chair on a movie set, or at the Masters, or in Buckingham f***ing Palace. Also, the movie takes nearly an hour to Lando, and that's definitely a sin. Anything, Hen? That's hot. But that's okay. This attempt to retcon Billy D. Williams' odd pronunciation of the name in the original trilogy makes me super angry. Not everything we wondered about needs a f***ing explanation. God, it's like modern movies want to stamp out human imagination rather than inspiring it. Oh, great hand. Way too much footage of this alien poker game that ultimately means nothing since no one knows how it's played. I'll see you 2,000, and I'll raise you however much this is. Splashing the pot. I'm calling. With what? My ship. Against your ship. Yeah, but that's not how calling works. Han put his chips into the pot, which was on top of the $2,000 bet. So if Lando calls with his ship, it's to cover the chips that are on the table. New move. We're making a Kessel Run. This movie makes the Kessel Run sound famous, but then immediately points out how impossible it is, which means only a few could have even tried it, making me wonder how it ever got famous. Other than the mention in the original trilogy, of course. I'm gonna need half the take. You don't even know how much the take is, though. Why speak in fractions before you even know the total haul in dollars or credits or whatevers? I'm gonna flip your switch! Good luck finding it! Is that a G-Spot joke thrown in the middle of a Star Wars movie? Because I think that was a G-Spot joke thrown in the middle of a Star Wars movie. I, I gotta hear that again. Good luck finding it. Is that a uh, okay. Please don't start. <laughs> she said that, and then he waited hundreds of steps until they were all the way outside on the ramp before he responded with don't start. Can Hollywood start coming up with less lazy transitions so dialogue doesn't get used as sinew between unconnected shots? Can Hollywood give us, I don't know, a gigantic crossover with the Avengers, Disney cartoons, especially the princess, and Star Wars all together? I mean, when Ralph breaks the internet does this, but only for a few minutes. I actually would have a memory wipe. But she's got the best damn navigational database in the galaxy. It seems like the Star Wars movies are f***ing littered with people that are the best damn something in the galaxy. We've attached the homing beacon. They won't elude us now. Yeah, but they didn't elude you before either, right? You showed up to f*** up the train heist just in time. Also, how did Enfys know they were going out to get more coaxia? It's not like she was in the meeting with Boss. And even if she saw Han and Lando together, there's no way she'd know for sure what they were up to. My dad worked the line of the CEC plan before he got laid off. He built these. Someone thought Han needed a personal connection to the Millennium Falcon, so this dad got written, and none of the smart people on this production managed to stop it before it got filmed and made the final cut. But this guy doesn't look like Han or sound like Han, but somehow he still feels like Han. And that is enough. It's kind of amazing. I don't take a sit on. While you got Wait, what? still feels like this guy doesn't look like Han or sound like Han. Uh, yeah, I guess. Feels like Han. Um, I don't know if he feels like Han. Honestly, I'm just to like told Han. he's Han. And that is enough. It's kind of amazing. I don't take a sin on. While you guys tear up or get horny watching him passionately kiss some not Princess Leia woman, I'd like to point out a more important issue, which is that these rods have nothing to keep these hangers from sliding off. Someone really wanted the hangers to have unbroken circles at the top, meaning we needed closet rods with open ends. But then they stopped there and started logic in the face and kicked it into the fires of Mount Doom. Am I interrupting something? I hear this move is called Mickey Knox Block and Cock. We had a good thing going here, me, you, Chewie. Yeah. Um... Does Princess Leia know that he used to date someone else? <laughs> I actually want to see that. Or is there a tragic, dramatic backstory where the two of them used to love each other, but now they're going against each other for obvious reasons? I would like to see that. The makings of a solid crew. You just had two other crew members killed in a failed heist, asshole. Assume everyone. Will betray you and you will never be disappointed. Jesus Christ, can Beckett telegraph he's gonna eventually turn on Han any harder during this trip? You need anything. Equal rights? L3's quest for droid citizenship is played for laughs here, but we won't be laughing when the robots start asking for rights here in the real world. We'll be screaming, screaming at the latest horror film directed by a robot as we scarf down popcorn made by a robot in a home theater made by robots while a robot version of my college girlfriend jerks off my robot. That Lando has feelings for me. Sometimes I think, maybe. How would that work? It works. No, seriously, how the f does that work? God, it's dropping all kinds of odd sex references here with no follow up simply because it thinks the idea is funny. I want to see how that works. Do not improvise. Saying this, Tahan Solo in a movie named after him seems like wasted breath and time for everyone involved, including me. Oh, f***ing dice are back. Yep, we're even squeezing Lando's Return of the Jedi helmet into this thing because do all the nostalgia. After Rogue One, I'm not surprised, but I am disappointed. Pray don't. 
Sure, the droids are taking off their restraining bolts, whatever the f those are, but how would that modify their programming? They're probably grateful, but once they're off, they all turn into William Wallace? <laughs> oh, shit. Wes. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, I don't see how that's amazing. The <laughs> <laughs> okay, I thought that was amazing. Guard has an external set of sensitive sex organs in the exact same place as a human. Jesus, there. Can I see that here? Of course, the alien vault guard has an external set of sensitive sex organs in the exact same place as a human. Jesus, there are more crotchal references in this movie than I remember. You guys are not going to believe what I'm seeing up here. You better come take a look at this cliche. <laughs> Chewbacca ex machina! Chewbacca? <laughs> so let's immediately start firing at this large supply of a highly unstable element. L3 isn't gonna make it, so Lando goes in. Then Lando isn't gonna make it, so Han goes in. Then Han isn't gonna make it, so Wookiee goes in. This is like the Russian nesting dolls of action scene writing. I'm legit surprised Chewie didn't run into trouble and cause Khaleesi to have to come out here too. <laughs> what? Where the hell have those motherfuckers been this whole time? L3! I know he's sad and we're supposed to be sad, but I can't help but think, dude, you f***ed a robot. That's whack. He's a copilot. Now watch Chewie die inside for the next few seconds. And you can't make the Kessel run in less than 20 parsecs. F***ing parsecs. Are they distance? Are they time? You don't know. The entire Star Wars canon doesn't know. This whole trial is out of order. Attica! Attica! Into the mouse room. Can't do it without all three. It's possible we can download her brain into the Falcon's Nava computer, right? Could we? Theoretically. Well, you got five seconds to test that theory, you time-wasting arguing dicks. Also, leave it to Han to basically break the Kessel Run record by cheating. He's the James T. Kirk of this particular Kesselashi Maru. Are they on us? Like rational on a Kylan. I don't know what that means. I'm telling you, I don't know what that means has become the cheap modern comedic equivalent of, did I do that? We need to divert auxiliary power to the rear deflector shield. Because we're now showing a Ron Han famously bragged about making in record time distance, we're robbed here as viewers of the chance to feel any tension for like more than 10 f***ing minutes. The characters feel tension, but they're paid actors. I know he makes it and does so in record fashion, so all these speed bumps along the way are just red herring. It's interfacing. It's part of the ship now. Awesome. So all that talk a few minutes ago about how difficult this would be was bullshit, right? This took one cable in two seconds. Buckle in now, fans, as we follow Han again while he pilots this ship again, away from a sudden ginormous space alien again. Again. This movie has two new ideas and everything else is just a callback, an homage, a ripoff, or an audience applause break. This goes Han for some time. Now! Now! This doesn't work? What the hell? I had a raging sin boner and now the movie subverted it by sacrifice. Oh, that's the stuff. This works. It by sacrifice. Oh, that's the stuff. This works. Just did the castle run in 12 parsecs. Great kid, don't get cocky. I hate you. God damn it, this movie left no nostalgia stone unturned and it's offensive. Back in. There were panels ripped off the f***ing Falcon when they were trying to fly it out of the gravity well, but the movie saying Enfys Nest's aftermarket tracking thingamajig stayed on and kept working that entire time. Okay, Nest and her crew end up being the seeds of the Rebellion, which is a cool twist and off, uh, almost with all that threatening earlier in the movie. They've literally tried to kill Beckett before, and did kill Rhea, but now that Beckett has the coaxium, we're just gonna have a powwow? Really seems like they shoehorned this rebel storyline in here hard. I need a drink. Bring them inside. This bartender should be fired. It's like three sips of alcohol you just spilled on the table, you ass. Not this time. I'm leaving. Hang on. Is he pretending to run? Like, without the profits or the coaxium? How the f*** would Han actually believe this? By some miracle, you make it out of here. Find me on Tatooine. What's on Tatooine? Why would Beckett even mention this? He knows Han's coming up to see Vance and wants the outcome to be certain death. So why say anything at all? Unless you're just trying to cram another nostalgic storyline reference in. No, no, I'm freezing. No, just a bit more than you. It's not like Han is just missing small signals of pending betrayal and scum and villainy. This shit is right in his face. Oh, I'm talking about my other associates. Can you come in and enjoy this, please? Dum, dum, dum! I mean, who the fuck else was it gonna be? But I'm also an entrepreneur. I mean, you of all people understand that. 
making a huge mistake. What about the situation got Beckett all horned up to take the coaxia? Even before the subterfuge, everyone was terrified of Dryden Boss and wouldn't cross him. Now we're perfectly fine stealing directly in front of him? God, what am I behind you? Even if Han weren't clouded by his boner, shouldn't he get a few more details? Are they meeting at the refinery? Is she backing him up against Beckett? Where are they getting a ship? I'm just saying a few more lines of dialogue would make this villain turn a little harder to predict. Oh no, it's Darth Maul! And between him, the Force Ghosts, and Leia's space odyssey in Last Jedi, there goes my ability to get it up for any major character's death in this franchise. Kira, you and I will be working much more closely from now on. I don't know about that, dude. Did you see the box office numbers for this thing? I hope you're still paying attention because now I'm gonna tell you the most important... Movie takes a firm stance on whether or not Han is the type to shoot first. Bold now, you walk away with enough to give yourself your own little ship. You Paul, I'm gonna clean you out again. Movie does give us a little more Lando, which is always welcome, but this ending feels more tacked on than the Jai Ho sequence at the end of Slumdog Millionaire. Second said he heard about this very big gangster putting together a job. God damn it, we're cramming Jabba into this story too? Everything important in Holland's life happened within a week. I'm just wondering when this. I'm just wondering. Yeah, okay. I saw Star Wars Rebels. And then I saw Darth Maul in Solo, a Star Wars story. Lando is basically Billy D. Williams at the Rebels show. So. What happened in between?